This episode is proudly sponsored by Hasa, the trusted choice for liquid chlorine. It's better because it offers the highest purity, works instantly, and contains no added CYA. By the bottom feeder, professional grade battery powered swimming pool vacuum system. It sucks to clean pools, so cleaning pools sucks less. Get $100 off the bottom feeder with code DVB100. Skimmer, trusted by over 30,000 pool service professionals across North America. Skimmer software helps you save time, grow revenue, and boost your five-star reviews. Whether you're just starting out or expanding your team, Skimmer's easy-to-use tools and expert support have you covered. Upgrade your business in 2025 with Skimmer. Try Skimmer for 30 days for free at getskimmer.com backslash pool guy. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. Hey, welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show. In this episode, I'm going to go over the comparison of the ColorQ 2X Pro 7 and 2X Pro 9 with the Taylor K2005-2006 series test kits. If you do pool service and you're kind of wondering what's the best test kit for your route, should you get a photometer or should you use the Taylor reagents, I'll go over some pros and cons of both test kits and you can make an informed decision. Join my coaching program and take your pool service to the next level. Connect with other pool pros in your area, gain valuable knowledge, and transform your business with personalized one-on-one advice from me. With over 36 years of experience, I'm here to help you succeed like never before. Learn more at PoolGuyCoaching.com. Obviously, the first main difference of these test kits is the price point. If you're looking just for the retail price, which I'll give you because I think retail price is kind of comparable to wholesale price in some ways. The retail price of the ColorQ 2X Pro 7 is about 230 and then the 2X Pro 9 is about 330 versus the Taylor test kit, which on their site retails for 110 for the K2005 kit. So it's a, probably a price difference of double or triple if you're going from the K2005 to the ColorQ 2X Pro 9, you're paying three times the amount for your test kit over the Taylor test kit. Now, is it three times better? That's for you to decide. And I think it just depends on what you're using the test kit for, what your needs are, and what you are looking for in your test kit. And that's your determining factor. In my opinion, the price point should not be a determining factor of any kind of pool equipment. If you think about it, if your pool business grosses 80,000 or 100,000 a year, which is pretty typical of a pool service business, and you're kind of haggling over spending $300 on a test kit or spending $100 on a test kit, you may have some issues that you have to deal with business-wise. Bob Lowry always talked about people with making, you know, taking care of pools that cost a quarter of a million dollars and having a pool route bringing in $100,000 a year and not wanting to spend $1,000 for the Lamont Spin Touch because it's too much money. There is definitely, and he also mentioned, I think, that people pay $80,000, $100,000 for a Ford, you know, Ford um, truck or any kind of big truck, and they won't buy a test kit or spend the money on a test kit. So $100 to $300 is not going to break your bank or shouldn't break your bank in your business. It should be a non-issue. The only issue is which test kit is better for your business. Let me start with some pros and cons of the photometer. Of course, one of the biggest pros of the photometer is the accuracy. You're basically putting the test, the reagent test, the water sample through a light photometer, which will give you, the, it reads the color of the, re, of the, okay, I'll back up a little bit. Basically, you take the water sample, you add the reagent, that'll change the color of the little sample in the tube. You will insert that into a photometer and the photometer will actually read the color of that tube and give you a readout. So if you're doing pH, it'll say 7.47 or 7.42. It's actually very accurate and they're really good at getting accurate readings of the test sample of the water. Now, do you need an exact reading, you know, 7.4.2 or do you need or 7.47 or do you need it pretty much in the ballpark? That's for you to decide, you know, maybe if you're using a Taylor test kit, it looks like 7.4 or it could be 7.6, hard to say because there's no digital printout. 
So those are that's the main difference is the accuracy of the photometer over the region test kit, which you're holding up in direct sunlight, kind of at eye level and looking at the reagent and matching the color yourself without the aid of a computer matching the reagent color. Also, the photometer as a negative is a longer way to test. If you're using the Taylor reagents, you're just simply adding the drops to the chamber and then you're mixing it and then you're actually looking at the reading or the final reading using that method. Whereas a photometer, you're usually adding the reagents or the pills, and I'll touch on the pills in a, in a second, or tablets as they call them, and then you're putting them in the photometer and getting the reading. So it does take longer to use a photometer tester than to use the Taylor test kit. I did a video where I ran through all the test factors on the Color Q2X Pro 7, and I believe I just did real time, and I think it was like five minutes and 30 seconds or five minutes and 20 seconds. So five minutes to run through seven test factors. It's not like the end of the world, but it does take more time. So that's a factor to consider when you're going with a reagent or a photometer or even test strips in that in that regard. I should back up a second here, and I mentioned the accuracy of the photometer. I'm not saying that the reagent test is not accurate. They are NSF approved. So NSF is an independent company that comes in and, and uses your product. You pay a bundle of money for them to do independent testing. And they actually certified the Taylor kit, kits recently. I think not that recently, like three or four years ago. Before that, they weren't NSF certified. But the Color Q 2X Pro 7 and 2X Pro 9 are independently verified that the readings that they display are accurate. The only difference in that is that the Taylor test kit is open to some interpretation because you have to determine what color that is. There's a pretty cool board game that we play once in a while. It's called Hues and Cues. It's a it's a game where you kind of match colors. So someone moves their peg on the board and then they have to describe the color in one word. And then the second round they use two words. So you can be like, if you land on like a purple, you can say Barney and everyone kind of knows Barney is a purple dinosaur. But what color of purple is Barney? Is he a dark purple, light purple? Oh, but their interpretation. It's actually a really fun game. And if you're using the Taylor Reagents, probably you should play this game and get familiar with colors and different lightings. If you play this game indoors and outdoors, it's actually a little different as far as the lighting of the board. So it's called Hues and Cues. It's actually really fun. I recommend that game. And the reason I bring it up is because you're actually just using your eyes to match that color and getting a reading, whereas the photometer is getting the reading itself. Also, with the Color Q2X Pro 7 and Pro 9, you can send the results in an email to yourself or to your customer. It's a great way to keep records at a commercial account, and it's a great way to keep records at a startup. So there's an advantage to the photometer because it is a computer. You can attach it to the app, and then you can send the readings directly over to your email or to someone else's email and keep records of the actual reading that you're taking. So that's a bonus there with using a digital device over the manual reagents. Now, of course, if you are you have problems distinguishing colors or if you're colorblind, you definitely would want to go to with a photometer because then you'll have the advantage. Now, I mentioned that I would talk a little bit about the pills or tablets with the photometers. Lamont's moving more towards these little tablets away from the reagents themselves, except for the pH and the free chlorine and the total chlorine. You're going to find that most of these kits, the color here, I'll give you the code number here so you can refer to this. And I'm going to say that if you are doing pool service, I recommend the color Q2X Pro 9 over the color Q2X Pro 7 for one main reason, or maybe two main reasons if you are using this in a lot of accounts. And that is the, the kit itself. And I'll give you the code here. It's the Color Q2X Pro 9 Plus 2097 is the order code. I recommend the Plus because it has the liquid reagents again for the pH and for the free and total chlorine. But what it does, it also does copper and iron and it does biguanide. These reagents for biguanide or tablets are sold separately. But it does come with the tablets for the iron, 100 tablets, copper, cyanuric acid, calcium hardness, total alkalinity, pH, bromine, or the chlorine, total chlorine, and free chlorine. And this is a DBD tester, so it's going to be accurate up to 10 parts per million with the chlorine. And then the pH goes from 6.5 to 8.5. It's really important that you know that it has a really good low-range pH, because if you're doing startups, it's good to know in case the pH falls below 7, that you can immediately address that, and it reads it as low as 6.5. Alkalinity up to 300 parts per million, 
calcium hardness up to 600 parts per million, cyanuric acid to 150 parts per million, copper to 4.0, which is pretty high, iron to 3.0, biguanide, which I don't know anything about much because we don't have that in our area, 70 parts per million, and biguanide shock, 160 parts per million. So you see it does a lot of test factors, and I really would say the iron and copper would be essential out there for your pool route. Now the tablets are something that you got to get used to crushing. They crush pretty rapidly. It's not a huge drawback. The reason why they went with tablets, I believe, is because they last a lot longer than reagents. And if you're not using the you know the cyanuric acid or the iron and copper very often, these tablets have a much longer shelf life than the reagents. I should also pause here and say that the reagent refills are much more expensive than the Taylor refills. I say much more, but they are more expensive than the Taylor refills because, and they also have a shelf life. I think that's a little bit shorter than Taylor. Don't quote me on that, but they are formulated specifically for the Color Q product. So you can't use Taylor reagents with the Color Q photometer. And you also are not really limited to your test factors with the Pro 9. I mentioned all the different test factors. And if you wanted to do a battery of these tests at a pool, it'll take you about six minutes, I would say, with this or seven minutes to do all of these tests at a startup or a commercial pool. Now, if you're a homeowner, I would recommend the Color Q 2X Pro 7. And if you are a pool service provider and you don't really care to do copper and iron, the 2X Pro 7 would be the kit to get. You'll save a little bit of money. Actually, you'll save like $100, but you won't have the copper and iron testing ability. So again, I recommend this over the 2X Pro 7, which is not a bad test kit in itself. It's just that this one does more for your pool. And if you, you'll notice a lot of plumbers will get the Color Q2X Pro 9 because they do a lot of copper and iron testing in the plumbing and plumbers will actually have this kit on their truck. So for pool service, this is the one I recommend, especially if you have commercial accounts, you're doing startups, you wanna log all the readings and you wanna make sure that you're keeping accurate readings and you want some low range pH readings definitely this kit is something to consider. Now let me go back over to the Taylor test kit, which is the basic test kit for pool service. I prefer the K2005, but you can get the K2006 if you wanted to. You also have one with salt as well, if you want to test for salt. And that's one thing that the 2X, the Color Q Pro 9 does not test for is salinity. If you wanted to do salinity, you would have to go all the way up to the Lamotte Spin Touch where that has a salt and one of the discs that you can get for that. So you can also get the salt, but I would say it's probably not extremely necessary. I just would get the standard K2005 kit and it does pH from seven to eight to eight and it does uh, free chlorine from one to 10 parts per million. Now, if you wanted to, if you are testing chlorine at higher levels, you would want to get the K2006 with the DPD, not in liquid form, it's in powder form. And I believe that's good for chlorine up to 30 parts per million. So there's an advantage to the K2006 DPD. It tests the free chlorine up to a higher point than you can test with the Color Q 2X Pro 9 and 2X Pro 7. But you're not testing chlorine up to 30 parts per million very often. You're basically testing it only up to 10 parts per million in most cases, which is what the Los Angeles County Health Department recommends as the highest level of chlorine in a commercial pool. So there are advantages to, again, the Taylor kit. You're going to also realize that the Taylor kit reagents are refillable at a lower cost than the K2, than the Color Q. Also, as I mentioned, the Taylor reagent test kit is a much faster way to test the water, the test factors in a pool. And you're going to find that it's convenient to use that. Now, I would say that it's not illogical to have both testers and in some situations I would say the Color Q 2X Pro 7 or 2X Pro 9 would be really handy in commercial pools. For sure you would want that for commercial pool service. You would also want that kit for startups, any kind of pools with problems. Taking over a new account, you definitely want to use that to get the actual readings. And then for speed during the rest of the month, the Taylor K2005 would be my choice for you because it has the liquid uh reagent for chlorine and free chlorine and total chlorine and not the powder which i find that takes more time and it's not highly necessary in a lot of cases so i would say the k2005 so having both would be really logical 
But if you were to pick one over the other, you'd have to kind of consider the factors. If you're going for speed, of course, the Taylor kit's faster. It's also less expensive to operate long term, less expensive to purchase. It's really good because it's NSF certified, so the readings are accurate. And there's really nothing wrong with just using the Taylor test kit on your pool route as your everyday tester. I see nothing wrong with it. It's something that's been used for many, many years. But the technology of the photometer is something that you can't argue with. Yes, it takes longer. There is a little bit of a hassle factor breaking up the tablets, but you get a printout. It's very accurate and you're going to be able to kind of prove to whoever the health department or the customer that these readings are accurate because you're using a photometer and that you can beam the results over to you. So it's one of those things where it's up to you on what level your pool route is going to be at. And if you go back to what Bob Lowry complains about all the time, you know, spending 100000 for a truck and you're making all this money, but you don't want to invest in a test kit. I think he has a good point. His point was valid that pool pros are kind of on the cheap side. I'll admit it. We don't want to spend a lot of money on things because we're kind of cheapskates as an industry. But investing in a good test kit is something that's going to benefit your business, benefit your clients, benefit yourself and give yourself that better image out there as a true professional. So it's up to you which test kit you want to use as your primary test kit, but I have nothing wrong with you getting the ColorQ2X Pro 9, and I have certainly nothing wrong with you getting the Taylor K2005 or K2006 test kit to use on your route as your primary tester. If you're looking for other podcasts I've recorded, you can find those on my website, swimproLearning.com. On the banner, click on the podcast icon, There'll be a drop-down menu of over 1,500 or close to 1,600 podcasts for you there. And if you're interested in the coaching program, you can learn more at poolguycoaching.com. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Have a great your week, and God bless. This episode is brought to you by Hasa, providing products that deliver clean, healthy water for every aspect of everyday life. The bottom feeder battery-powered vacuum system, portable, powerful, and only weighs 12 pounds. And Skimmer. Get Skimmer, America's number one pool service software. Podcast listeners can try Skimmer for free at getskimmer.com backslash pool guy.